Open up. Barry, we know you're in there. We're here to help. Don't die, no fucking one. You know what the worst thing is about this place? Get out of my way. My oh my, look at her, so pretty. All food. Mmm, yummy. Hey, B! Haven't seen you in a good one, two, few weeks. <laughs> Figured you'd skip town. Quitting Night City is not as easy as you think. Sort of like an abusive relationship, huh? Listen, uh, I could use a little load to the old pocket. Want to peek at some fresh gear? Next time through, working against the clock today.
said. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it will be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? You ask a lot of questions. You have many interesting things to say. Might be your turn now to say something interesting. I intend to punish Yorinobu Arasaka severely. ...for the crime he has committed. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, Be so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka... ...must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are uh, its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. 
At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Helmet. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Sabro-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corpo rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. Mean to say you worked for Saboro, yet got no idea how to talk to the High and Mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, and if that means picking another... Hellman, I... Hmm, somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Sabro-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corpo rats squeal when hanging by... For several days, I collected the info. I... She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Sabro-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Get... I wish you luck. The old man is... With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she would not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about a plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Helma, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Helma, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business.
Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Our sock is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play, or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. You will sit there until you finish. Don't interrupt me. I don't give a fuck if you got to interrupt me. It has to be now. Get me? Go!
Any city tingling with desire. We'll do anything to scratch every inch. What's the ball? New episodes every Wednesday at 10. Try out our freshly developed new taste and let your tongue be in your Someone in this tower go cuckoo again? This is a private matter, so just move along. Wait, she might know Barry. This is a mega tower. Spill into badges will get you pegged as a snitch. This'll only take a sec. Do you know Barry? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Patrolman. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just... be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be... touchy. I'll see what I can do. Again later. I am the law. Got it. Since we talk, since when Jackie passed away. Call in to offer my condolences. Mm. Offer your condolences? Ay, Jesus Christ, You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jackito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, Vi.
long time. Okako Okada, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find the moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. City Center? Vin. Yeah, I know. Heard about you. Odd stuff. Need anything, you call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody. Heard you home. Already? Sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. Table. We got to get rid of him. Really? He's pretty massive. So maybe we scooch it. Put it up against the wall. V. Nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? One mind one. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night when... when Jackie... well... let's just say... Things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé como te sientes. 
Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that? Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. I want to take part in the ceremony, but I want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory, I, I don't got anything. But your heart is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes, too. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just... Well, human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you. A lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe. That's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. Nah, Jack was... Jack was a little of that, too. Always looking on the bright side. He wore his heart on his sleeve. And wasn't at all afraid to live fully. Had his inner demons, though. Who doesn't? Exactly. They're what makes us who we really are on the inside. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set? You two didn't get that far. He offered. But I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. 
Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. Fine piece of metal in mechanics. <laughs> he was so psyched. <laughs> Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? For whom the bell tolls. 
Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. It's definitely why they're up there, yeah. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it is a miracle he never wiped out. Locked. Wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? <laughs> Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Oh, Jackie. Is that a, a mandala? Mm hmm. Oof. It's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. An aquarium? They used to be tacos. And taco was? Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Nice still. Gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentinos, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Leather belt? Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hostile. Realized and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back.
Jack. Pure and simple. Well, you got something for your ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What did she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. I understand. Take care of yourself, Misty. Yeah. You too, V. Hey. Everything okay? Yeah. I just need some time, you know? Go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. V, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or... I lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, No te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Well, 
12 rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh, I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It all started when he put a heater to my head. Then some badges showed up. Beat the shit out of both of us. Half my fault, half his. We hightailed it out together. Half an hour later, we were eating dinner at Mama Wells's. Turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. The best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind on something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He... He once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He kept Haywood in his heart, always. It made him who he was, but most importantly... Jackie loved life. And had no fear. Heart on his sleeve, he... He didn't overthink things, he just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately... He did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. If he's watching. Bet just about now he's... Flipping him all the bird. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Tomb. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful friend that we gave him. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, V. Gonna miss him. I already do. Campos all torn up. <laughs> Me too, like Chica. I wonder if he is torn up after you die. Here's the Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Not today. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Hey, you! Have a drink with us. Hmm? 
Wells? How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible book club. Yeah. I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. I think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. All right, why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. Good for now. Thanks. See? Gotta know when to stop. Right, give me a break. All right, let's go. Come here, Tumba. I'll take care of you. Lupe's been having the loss pretty good. She's a strong. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. Jackie, did you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V. I knew him. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us from up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it? I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. How are things in the streets? This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Poured you another? For Jaquito? Poor. For Jackie. Amen, sister. See, the Valentinos haven't forgotten about Jackie. Days like this, even the meanest motherfuckers pay their respects. Principles. Jackie lived by them. They's what kept them going. Weird. Being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. I'll have another. Have as many as you want. I'll have another. Have as many as you want.
Me? That you? Shit. I thought you were... gone. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find out. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? What I just say. Drop it. I won't tell you again. Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Since we're gonna work together, only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you me. See, no introductions necessary. Already took care of that. Someone comes to me with beers, I take care of it. I eat. Good day, V. There is a man who must meet justice. This is a personal matter. I'll pay extra. More info attached. I'm counting on you, V. Por qué chingados metes las pinches narices donde no te llaman?
What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. That's gonna help us how, exactly. There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me. The truth of events at Kopiki Plaza. I have little hope that he will be convinced. But it will be a start. Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability. Even that of old friends. Sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, I trust him. Fine. Where's the meeting when? Japan Town. After sunset, I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Got a good memory for faces. Bar's closed. Sorry, Chu. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? Whoa, whoa, start again. What is it you want us to do now? Beat some sense into him. Joy toy you need to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? I you so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Sus, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high, or sink into quicksand. Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why, so you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist? Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. 
So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? staring at got something to say say it forget Evelyn admit it this is about Judy's virtues isn't it good shit if I say so myself nobody can hold a candle to Judy cuts virtues like they were diamonds damn straight Name's V. And what? No pleased to meet you? Hm. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. <laughs> 